Hey friends out there in YouTube land, uh, I just wanted to bring you something real quick. I'm kind of excited. This is the front facing camera on my cell phone. Don't worry about it. It's, it's groggy. We're going to switch this up for you in just a second. But I've got here the ham camera and I wanted to kind of share with you a little bit about it and why this is a, an important time. Uh, I've been fashioning lenses for the past couple of months right here and, and that's actually um, Remember, the hand camera is a modular box camera. It's got some really special things. We're going to go over part of it. This is a standard angle lens right here, equivalent to about a 40 millimeter perspective, which is really cool. It's got a 95 millimeter focal length, and it actually is in a, a fitting. I just have it taped on here because I'm trying out multiple different lenses, um, all with 95 millimeter focal lengths, and um, that's because I want the cartridges to be the things that you place in the camera, like this in order to properly you know change out your lens it would be your first modular interchangeable lens camera on film for a box camera that you've ever had it's, it's pretty crazy the other cool it. thing is i want you to be able to change your aperture so uh the apertures actually will be changed on aperture sticks which happen in front of the uh the lens plate right there which means that you can change these while you're actually photographing right and change now, your put it together so that it makes sense put the cartridge with the lens inside put the stick inside the aperture just in order to uh, make it get exactly what we want. Go ahead and put the uh, front plate on. Settings, there okay. you go. It's on, so we're just missing the front glass. The cool part about the front glass, well, I'm not going to tell you that. There's, this, there's a very important secret about this and filters. I think you're going to like uh, my filter partner. And then, of course, the back would just go on it. So this is the ham camera. Now, we've got controls. I don't have any film in it, no worries. But this is the crazy part. This is where you find out whether or not you're right or wrong. And this is ground glass. And people won't know this. So this is a real quick primer. Um, when you have lenses and optics, uh, you can determine a lens by its diameter, its focal length. And there's there are equations that you can get to determine the theoretical focal plane of the lens, which would be the pressure plate of the camera where the film would go across and, and maintain a contact. That's what this is acting like right now. That's what this is doing. So when I put this up on the back and I show you something there, you see that, right? When I show you something there, then you will actually begin to see uh, whether or not the lens is going to be able to focus at the focal length that the cartridge is. Remember, from this point here to the back part of there, is at 95 millimeters okay real simple so let's turn the camera around now that we've done all that and uh, get to the house we're just gonna look right here because I need a really bright light source and it's nighttime of course there is that and then look what happens when we bring the camera up to it boom now we're gonna let the actual mod uh, recording device focus and look at that look at that beautiful focus sharp tack sharp focus You'll also notice and the depth of field is pretty cool we're gonna talk about that for one second okay you can see the pictures on the wall over there. Nice, sharp focus. We can come over here, maybe even see some more. Like, I'm trying to get some of these in focus for you so that you can see. Look at that. You know, and it's very difficult to show this because the recording device, the LG G6 that I'm recording this on, is having a hard time focusing because, well, it's all reflective stuff and it's very low light. We're going to come right over here for one. All right, friends, we are back. And uh, coffee's cold. Sorry about all that. I'm just real excited. So let, let's talk about something very important with single element lenses. They're very good at one job, and that is a specific focal length and a specific depth of field, which means that like the traditional box cameras, this has a set focal range based on the particular lens cartridge and module that you're using. We're not going to get into that, but we're going to say this. Basically, about six feet, about as tall as you are from away from you to about... 50 to 60 feet, almost infinity, is where you're going to find your focal range. That's your focus distance. Anything right after that particular, uh, with this lens right here, will be out of focus. And anything in front of that will become out of focus as well. So your foreground elements, everything from about 6 feet to the camera, and your background elements, roughly about 50 feet and back, will be out of focus. And that means that this is the perfect kind of street camera that you could ever think of because it's set up, there is no focus to worry about, you've got a very wide focal range, and you've got some amazing separation that you're going to be able to get in the film because of that set focal distance. Also, I've got some things going on with the shutters that are going to be real cool that will be very nice, but I wanted to talk about that because it's really important. And this right here, uh, obviously... Uh, well, no, 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 I can't show you that one. I wanted to let you know that as I've been developing this, remember this is a modular camera. 
And that's the most important update to this kind of photography that I wanted to bring. So the idea is to have multiple different kinds of cartridges that you can use different types of film. So let me let you know, I've got one in mind for 35 millimeter, which will be smaller, or you could use the cartridge in here and do sprocket hole photography, which will be really cool. And that won't require a whole new system purchase. You could just as easily purchase the additional module to put in here and not have to buy a whole new system. Or if you want a smaller system, about 35% to 40% smaller than this in total, then you could purchase the, the smaller one. That, but that's going to be version 3. That's my third project down the road. The uh, second one I'm working on is, uh, you know just how these things are square? You know, and you know I like instant film. That's all I'm going to say about that. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to let you know that I'm currently pioneering a technology that allows for batteryless ejection with consistent pull on instant film. And that might sound crazy, but think of the old land cameras, right? You might ask how you're going to do that with this, and that's what I can't tell you right now because I'm so excited. But the concept is to what kind of awesome system could be modular just like this? I'm, I'm just so excited. Man, I don't know what to do. So there you go. There you have it. We've been having a look at lenses. We've been looking at one of the modules. You got to see a little bit of the, the actual stuff. And I'm just going to let you go now. I want to thank you for watching and remind you that I will catch you on the flip side. <laughs>